money um, in the long term. And one of the things that they were kind of bringing up were you would think that it would say, well, it's about, um, you know, picking the right uh, companies and and the right timing and uh, the right uh, financial advisors or the right, um, uh, I would say, trading uh, systems, whatever it is that we all kind of are kind of exposed to with, the, with nowadays with, with media, right? Um, and none of those things came up. Um, to, to the contrary, was hey, and we're back, and uh, my crazy hair and all today. I want to just jump on real quick, and I was reading a couple of articles. I kind of do it every morning I, since I've been home now with the whole, uh, still with the whole uh, pandemic. <laughs> um, there's an article there talking about um, uh, that anybody can kind of become uh, eventually uh, a, a great or uh, a wealthy investor. And um, and of course, there's going to be arguments of what an investor, a wealthy investor is. It's different amounts, different numbers. Um, and it could be a millionaire, multimillionaire, a trillionaire, whatever it is that that, you know, billion into trillion or whatever it is that makes you feel, I guess, successful, whatever it is. Uh, but then the day, you know, this channel we're here just to build wealth for yourself in the long term and for our futures. And uh, there's not really, everybody's different, right? Some people are comfortable with, uh, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, millions, a million. <laughs> Everybody has their own number. I might hit a judge and I really don't care for that. At the end of the day, we're here to just build our own wealth and hopefully grow our money um, in the long term and one of the things that they were kind of bringing up were you would think that it would say well it's about um, you know picking the right uh, companies and and the right timing and uh, the right uh, financial advisors or the right um, uh, I would say trading uh, systems whatever it is that we all kind of are kind of exposed to with the with nowadays with, with media right um, and none of those things came up. Um, to, to the contrary, it was the basic things that we always kind of hear, and it's mundane, and it's boring, and we really don't want to hear it, <laughs> including myself. Uh, and this is why I think building wealth and uh, understanding for yourself and just being diligent um, for your goals and whatever your goals are, um, it starts with, right? And and it's not about some exciting and crazy idea that we're like, oh my God, uh, what is it, Anthony? No, it's really boring, basic rules, right? Or, or steps, not rules, just steps. Um, and one of the things that I saw in the article as well, they mentioned it was, number one was just to be consistent, right? And not very, not so much focused about the your return rates, right? As much as your the rate that you're putting money in, right? How much are you putting in every single month, every single year, however you do it, every single week, However you do it, some people do it every single transaction. You have acorns, it takes it out of your, from your different, um, it, it goes automatically to your bank account, whatever transaction you use, the leftover money goes into it. There's all these ways of, you know, starting to invest. Start, start to invest with small uh, fractions of dollars to a couple of hundreds to a couple of thousands. Um, so it's more about the the being uh, obviously consistent. See, that's a lot of, a lot of people, it's a lot harder to do because you have probably a bunch of stuff to purchase, a bunch of bills. But those that find a way to put away, regardless of what happens outside of them, I think for them, I've seen the most successful investors that I've met. Um, they just make it a, a habit of like, no matter what, they set that amount and that happens first. Even in the book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, he mentions that, right? Um, the difference between the wealthy and the, and the middle class was that the middle class pay the bills first and then they save. And the wealthy, they save first and then they pay the, the bills. So um, if, if, every month, if you get a chance, if it's 5 to 10 25 $50 a month, $100 a month, make it a priority to put it away for yourself regardless. Um, and you will be thanking yourself, you know, 5 to 10 years out. So that's number one, right? And then number two was... Um, just being um, patient, right? Patient with your investments uh, and, and being in for the long run. And it's very 
boring because nowadays especially myself it, it's quite easy to get pulled or put away by all these hot stocks and hot um you know cryptocurrencies and all these things that are really doing well but you know it's it might not be for you right the volatility the risk might not be there for you so you have to kind of gauge yourself at the end of the day what what you can choose to lose and you know are able to but i'm not saying that those are bad investments we all have great ideas and great choices but understanding what your game and your plan is right and most of the successful investors are in it for the long haul for long term um they're not wor worried about ups and downs and and prices and what's what's the most trending you know they're not really worried about that they're just diligently putting their money into some obviously uh obviously a, a wide variety of an asset allocation uh fund that exposes them to many different fields and they stick with that for a long term um again not investment advice whatever it is you need to do your financial advisors you might contact but these are ideas that we all share here right uh so number three is uh just being uh focused and not having all your eggs in different baskets and then not having all your eggs in one basket right it's a it's kind of a I would say uh, it's it's a little bit of uh, contrary to what we what we always hear. So basically, I think if you listen to one of the greatest individuals that I listened to, as far as one of the uh, in this time in this time, uh, one of the best in, uh, obviously investors, Warren Buffett, he say he states that you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, right? On one basket, but at the same time, you want you don't want to be in so many baskets, uh, right? Especially today, we have so many different. Um, funds and different uh fields that we can be in that we can invest in um and especially now with the whole uh different bunch of we have a, 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 a bunch of etfs and different funds that you can uh, participate in so i think basically what he was stating is that you don't want to spread yourself so thin right and you don't want to have um your uh your obviously your monies in so many baskets um because Although, yes, it's going to give you a diversified portfolio. Um, at the same time, you want to focus on a broad, like, basically index fund. So basically you're saying if you go into a simple index fund that gives you exposure to all of these areas, um, you'll be fine. And you won't be, uh, you will be getting more money for your, for obviously more bang for your buck, right? And, and that's, everybody has different preference. But at the end of the day, uh, when we start building our wealth of the future, and we start building by investing and saving, um, it's really simple. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, it's a lot more, it's a lot, it's made a lot more uh, difficult than we think it is, but it's not. It's just keeping, that's probably another tip from there, right? If you want to be a smart investor, not just uh, rely on 401k, start having your own investments on the side. Um, participate in the 401k, obviously, but if your company matches it, but have your own funds inside and um just stay diligent last but not least live uh obviously live below your means um don't let that lifestyle creep up and uh not let you uh maximize your contrib contributions to your investments uh that takes away i will say the majority of your investment process is trying to live below your means um you're gonna eventually grow your income you're eventually gonna grow with your experience and your age you're gonna be obviously um if you're young right now you're watching this you don't believe me but with years uh you're gonna be having better pay better raises and hopefully better career or better jobs or better positions um as you uh you know build your experience and your uh obviously talents so um trying to stay diligent where you are not increasing your lifestyle at a point where you're kind of matching what you're kind of increasing so if your income is increasing you want to stay a little bit below of that as far as your lifestyle um and and use that extra money that you're coming along the way to add towards your uh contributions to your investments uh, i think that's kind of one of the tricks that nobody really talks about but uh, most of these individuals that are investing and have uh, great investment accounts, they are very, very smart when it comes to living below their means. 
and they use that extra money that they have acquired, extra income, extra uh, any type of contribution that's coming into their portfolios to maximize their investments. And, and 10, 15, 20 years later, uh, it shows. So let's start today and let's start as soon as we can. And I hope that we're all on the same journey together. And uh, hopefully I wish you guys the best. So I'll see you next time. Peace.